Mr. Boots, are you in here with us? Talk to me. What was that, bro? Hold on, hold on. What was that? What? The Arkansas CW presents Paranormal Adventures with the Crew. On this adventure, we travel to the Pythian Castle in Springfield, Missouri. Opened in 1914, the Pythian Castle was built by the Order of the Knights of Pythias. Now a private residence, the castle originally opened as a care home for elderly members and spouses of the order. The U.S. military bought the castle in 1942 and used it as a hospital during World War II. During the war, the castle also housed numerous prisoners of war from Italy, Germany, and Japan. With over 80 deaths throughout its tenure as a care facility, numerous people have claimed seeing shadow figures, feeling cold spots, hearing phantom footsteps, and being touched. This may be a night to remember. What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeremy. And Ron. We're the Arkansas CW and we're here at the Pythian Castle. With Paranormal Adventures with the crew. Look, we about to hunt some ghosts, my man. We about to have a good time. We're gonna have a great time. We're, we're here by ourselves, actually. Bro, we're here by ourselves. Look, it's about to get spooky. Spooky! Ooh. All right, so, man, look. No time like the present. Bro, let's run in there. Say less. Let's go. Man, what you doing, bro? Right now, we in the, in the, it's a little stage room. They also used to, it was like a makeshift boxing ring. They said right, they said by right here was the, was the, was the boxing ring. Right here, these four pillars yeah, that, right wrap, that wrap rope around it. Mm -hmm. And so, boys will just duke it out. So I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on the EMF, my mm -hmm. man. Get out the app, bro. We can get the app, see if we keep, see anything, you know. She did say something. that like, sometimes the word headache punch mine. What? Yes. Uh, okay, so we are right in the middle of the, uh, the boxing ring, like you said, like she said, sometimes the words uh, headache, pop up, headaches, punch. yeah, punch, different, and people start to feel like they, they jaw pain or something, like they got hit, they start to feel headaches, uh, <clears throat> wow. Get ready to start a recording. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm recording on the recorder. There's a lot of energy going on right here in the middle of the boxing area. Is there anybody here? Say something to me, let me know. Is there anyone here? Give us a sign. Maybe it. Maybe a light footstep. Maybe a light tap, light footstep. Please. We started the night in the ballroom. After Jeremy asked the question, is anyone here? We caught these sounds on our camera. Sign. Maybe it. Sign. Maybe it. All right, so we're heading into Petey's room right now. We split up down here. Petey, I'm gonna move your ball, okay? You can put it neatly with yours. And I brought a new one. Yeah. This is actually a cat toy. So the cat toy, what it does is once it's bunched or hit, it'll it'll flash. So I just turned off. He brought you in a ball. You wanna play with that? Hmm. Maybe it's too early for Petey tonight. Might have to come back a little later. Whoever's in here, we'll leave you alone for a little bit. Inside of Petey's room, Susan and I started to shut off our equipment when the GoPro picked up this voice. We can't tell what it says, can you? So me and Miguel about to head on up in here. This was the movie theater back in the day. This was the entertainment center. Said it was like the first movie theater. And when our tour guide showed us pictures earlier, that was uh, very apparent, uh, like a woman in a dress that was like right in the middle of here. I saw it very clearly. And she said there used to be like a, a ventriloquist, a, a guy holding a ventrilo uh, ventriloquist doll standing behind her in that corner. So, you know, it's a little, well, so one of our crew has the sound amplifier and there's some giggling on the sound amplifier. So is there someone in here who's giggling, who's laughing? Like I said, we here to communicate. Let me know. Remember, she did say when it wasn't full. Yeah. 
they would have the kids play in mm -hmm. the back, but yep. that doesn't mean the kid didn't get on the stage at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, she said, yeah. She said whenever the place wasn't too full, the kids would all sit in the back, so it could be kids in here, or is there somebody giggling? I'm, I'm trying to communicate. Let me know, give me a sign. Am I, am I welcomed in here? Am I okay being in here? Talk to me. I'm asking you, is it okay for me to be in your space? Now, investigating the theater room, we hear two distinct knocks after Jeremy asked if he was welcomed in that room. Check it out. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me. So we just turned our heads real quick over this way because I turned my head real quick. Miguel heard it as well. We think we heard a whisper out here in the distance somewhere. So I'm going to turn the sound amplifier on. Somebody working. There was a screeching or something. Yeah, that bottles. Was bottles. Okay. okay. Hearing a whisper, we quickly moved outside the theater room to investigate. We caught a noise coming from the lower floor of the castle. We initially assumed it was the sound of bottles hitting, but after some post-production, it sounds more like a screech. So, this is the, the, grumpy, the grumpy guys. Guy? Room. Yeah, the grumpy guys' room. We didn't get to come in here during the tour. Yeah, but they opened it up for us. So, yeah, punching. It's, it's, <laughs> Pushes, uh, mostly pushing. Very pushing. pushing. Sick feeling. Um, Miguel had yeah. a feeling. Miguel, had Miguel, Miguel yeah, Miguel had a feeling earlier. So, uh, let's go. And I got the sound amplifier, so. We need you no harm, sir, whomever you are. We mean absolutely no harm. We would just like to communicate if you would like to communicate with us. Okay. If there's is either a spider web or the thing touching my arm. Oh. It was this arm and then this arm. You see the spider web. All right, I'm going to go in for it. There's no spider web. Something's touching? Right here on my wrist. Yeah, something touching. Right here on general wrist. Okay. So did, did someone still touch Ron? There's still a sensation here. Is someone touching Ron right now? While investigating the basement, I feel like I'm being touched. But if you listen close at the same moment, you can hear what sounds like a groan. Touching my arm. It was this arm and then this arm. Let me see. Touching my arm. It was this arm and then this arm. Our camera also picked up some interesting orbs in the basement while we were investigating. Here, you see an orb pass between Jeremy and I. In this clip, the orb appears at the floor, then wind its way to the back wall, and finally, you can see the orb exit the boiler room and zoom off camera. Uh. No. Okay. So, what was that? That was y'all, right? No. They bumped over there, right? Something bumped over there. As soon as I walked in. I thought that was y'all. Oh, and you were getting you were getting lit up. Um is there something here right now? I'm getting so much static in this in this sound amplifier, dude. What the Mr. Boots. <laughs> My bad. Activity began to pick up while inside the boiler room. The second we enter, we heard a knock from the back of the room, followed by a second knock after Jeremy calls out for Mr. Boots. Okay. So. stepped in this tunnel, I just got full energy. I have not gotten full energy this whole time I've been here. So, Mr. Boots, oh, let's be quiet in here, because remember, you like to tap, so Mr. Boots, if you are in here, can you please tap a pipe or walk around, let us hear a footstep. My flash is gone. Inside the tunnel, Jeremy asked the spirits to communicate with us by making a noise. If you listen closely, you can hear a faint whistle in the distance. Hi. Can you tap the pipe for us, Mr. Boots? Wait, 
Well, it was like, shh, shh. Still inside the tunnel, Jeremy asked Mr. Boots to tap a pipe. We didn't hear the tap, but we caught this interesting sound. <laughs> We are we being intrusive into your space? Oh. Is that a yes? <laughs> Mr. Boots, can you tap on the pipe, please? Is that you messing with the recorder? The amplifier? Oh. What was that? Mm. What was that, bro? Hold on, hold on. What was that? What was that? What happened? I heard voice. I heard. Hold on, hold on. What? I what? heard that. That sounded like a hmm. Hold yes. on, just wait, 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 just wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. We will leave your space, Mr. Boots. Excuse us. We travel upstairs to investigate the tower. We sit up there for 15 minutes, with not really much happening. But while we're in the tower, Susan was downstairs getting some footage and she caught something on her phone. So we are in the green rooms behind the stage in the boxing area. We come respectfully, but are we being intrusive to your space? Talk, talk to us. We, we are here. We're listening. Do you want to talk to us? I guess that's the big question. Like Ron asked, do you, do you want to talk to us? The green room was our final stop for our investigation. I asked, do you want to talk to us? At the time, we didn't hear anything but we definitely got an answer. So, we've been to several places already. True. We advise bad juju, what have you. Facts. Uh, I, I'm sure I've been touched. I think I've been touched. This is not, this is not, look, we are not falsifying this. This is one for the books, man. The Pythian Castle. Is official. Definitely. Uh, th that was our time here. We need to go home, get, Bro, you know, get all the bad I got to regroup. <laughs> I need some sleep. I'm tired. So Until next time, my man, we got to go. Thank you so much, guys. See ya.